very much, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Children and Youth Services. Speaker, through you to the Minister, families have been calling my office, concerned about how the changes to the Ontario Autism Program will affect their child's development. They're concerned, too, about their family's finances. They're genuinely distressed and concerned and anxious. So, Speaker, on the family's behalf, I would ask the minister to do these two things. First, disclose to the parents the financial details of the plan, especially the income testing, so they can plan and so they know what the future holds for them. Secondly, I would ask the minister to come back to the table, listen to these families, hear their concerns, and work with them. Speaker, through you to the minister, can the minister commit to doing these two things? Minister of Children, Community and Social Services. Thanks, uh, Speaker. On the announcement day, I did make the commitment that this would be a $321 million investment into families with autism, which is um, much more than the $256 million the previous Liberal administration had offered. In addition, with, in with respect to income testing, we were very clear that it is for those who make over $250,000 per year. But let me be perfectly clear. I have met with parents of autistic children uh, throughout my career. In fact, the first protest I ever attended was with Families for Autism in front of his office when he worked for Dalton McGuinty after the previous Liberal administration took families uh, with children of autism to court. Uh, I have uh, been steadfast in my resolve in trying to support all of the families, but it was unconscionable that the previous Liberal government left 23,000 children on an endless wait list with no hope in sight for support from their Ontario government. So I will stand here. I will defend our plan. It is fair. It is equitable. And most of all, Speaker, it is sustainable Response. for now and well into the future. Supplementary. Speaker, um, that's not the answer that I expected. And here's what I know. In 2016, when our plan came up short and 2,200 families were going to fall between the cracks, my colleagues and I listened to those families and we came back with a plan that required more money. And every one of us can agree here that this is about children and their families. It's not a partisan issue. So what we need to have happen here are two things. To disclose the financial details, it's simple, it's straightforward. They need to know about the income testing. And to sit down with these families, to work with them. I know this is a challenging issue in here. I've been on the other side of it. It's very challenging. But where it's more challenging is in the everyday lives of these families. So we need to walk a mile in these parents' Question. shoes. Can the minister commit to doing these two simple things? Minister. Speaker, I just answered the question. $321 million, which is a lot more than the 256 that they had offered. We are offering to ensure that we clear the wait list of 20,000 children. It was unconscionable to deny three out of four children in this province, 23,000 children, service from their Ontario government. We're going to make it fair. We're going to make it equitable. We're going to make it sustainable. We are doubling the investment into diagnostic hubs. We are going to empower with direct funding. What is wrong, though, Speaker, is when that government, the previous Liberal government, left office, they were morally, ethically, and ideas bankrupt. They left the province almost bankrupt. And on June the 27th, I inherited an Ontario autism program that was bankrupt. Shame on them. Yeah.